Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain a Thai comedy romance film called First Kiss. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. Sa is a 25-year-old woman who has never had her first kiss. In high school, she was deeply in love with a popular guy named Om, but he had a girlfriend, Pam. Sa was a nerdy student, so she always knew she was not Om's type. Still, she would watch him every day in hopes of someday becoming his girlfriend. But then, Om and Pam both moved to the US during their last year of high school. Sa was so heartbroken that she has not developed a crush on anyone ever since. Deep inside, she is still waiting for a miracle that will make Om fall in love with her, even though she hasn't seen him in almost a decade. One day, during a high school reunion, Sa's dream comes true. Om, who has just returned from America, joins her party and shows extra interest in her. Although nervous, she asks him if he is single and he affirms. The two exchange phone numbers, planning to go on a date someday. Sa goes to the bathroom to compose herself and jumps in excitement. Her years-long wish is finally coming true. Starting that day, the two begin dating. Om frequently drops her off at work, which Sa's colleagues, Maham and Jen, do not fail to notice. They playfully tease her for landing a handsome and rich man. The two know that she has not had her first kiss and prepare her for it. Their tips and tricks on how to kiss better make Sa more nervous than she already is. That night, while returning home on the bus, she sits by a high school boy named Bass. An accident occurs on the road outside that everyone gets up to watch. While trying to adjust, Bass and Sa accidentally lock lips. Bass laughs it off, but Sa is horrified. She wanted her first kiss to be with the man of her dreams, but now that a high schooler has stolen it, she cannot help but to be disappointed. She throws her phone at him in anger and storms off as he laughs behind her. At home, she registers that she forgot to ask for her phone back. She calls it from her house number, but Bass refuses to return it. He playfully challenges her to find out what school he goes to in order to get her phone back. The next day at school, his friends notice that he is distracted. Bass cannot get the thought of the angry bus lady out of his head. Then, an announcement on the speakers asks everyone named Bass to come to the principal's office. He joins the others in the office and finds out that Sa is the one who called them. She remembered his name on his school uniform yesterday. He reluctantly has to give her the phone back and is beaten by the principal as punishment. Sa feels bad for him and takes him to a local restaurant for lunch. There, the two get into an argument because Bass keeps calling her auntie. Sa urges him to call her sister, but he refuses to do it. Instead, he settles to calling her by her name. As they chat, Sa gets a call from Om, calling her to a restaurant for a date. A few hours later, she goes to the said restaurant and finds Bass at one of the tables. He claims that they happened to meet by coincidence, but Sa knows he must have heard her talking to Om on the phone. She ignores him and sits down with her date. After dinner, he drives her home and tries to kiss her. But as he gets closer, a street garland seller knocks on his window and interrupts the romantic moment. Om awkwardly drives away after the encounter, leaving Sa disappointed. She then finds out that the garland seller is none other than Bass. In a frustrated tone, Sa asks him what he wants and is ready to pay if that means he will leave her alone. But Bass doesn't want her money. He wants to go out on a movie date with her. To get rid of him once and for all, she agrees. The next day, she dresses up fancy to embarrass him and make people believe they are not a couple. The plan works, but a bunch of teenage girls call her Bass's mother, which only makes her feel worse. Bass seems to be distracted by something. He pulls her to the side and shows her Om hanging out with another girl. Sa is shocked to see the other girl is his high school sweetheart, Pam. Om locks eyes with her but acts as though he doesn't know who she is. Bass reveals that Pam is his friend and when he saw Sa on a date with Om yesterday, he understood what was up. Hence, he brought her here to show her Om's true nature. Sa registers that her first love has cheated her and is heartbroken. The next morning, she tells her colleagues about the incident. They feel bad for her until Bass comes to their office and pretends to be Saw's new man. Maham and Jen are proud of her for being on top of the dating game. The four of them go to lunch, where Om blows up Saw's phone with messages. But Bass takes her phone away and doesn't let her talk to him for her own sake. When she starts arguing, he simply leaves with her phone. To get it back, she dresses up as a high school girl the next day and goes to meet him at his school. 
When Bass recognizes her, he is pleasantly surprised. Before giving her the phone, he asks her to skip classes with him. She is forcefully made to run away from the teacher when she is not even a student. The two end up in the science lab, which brings back memories of Saw's school days. Since the lab's window has a full view of the basketball court, she used to spend hours in the room, watching Ohm practice. Suddenly, the teacher arrives, looking for them. The two sneak through the tables and manage to run away again. After spending hours having fun around the school, Saw registers that she left her wallet in the lab. She goes to fetch it, but Bass refuses to accompany her. When she is alone in the lab, he calls her, asking her to look out the window. He is standing on the basketball court, grinning at her. He sings a cheesy love song for her that makes her forget her decade-long affection for Ohm. They meet at the staircase, where he plants a kiss on her lips and asks her to date him. Saw is a bit shocked, but she agrees. Starting that day, the two board the bus together, return home together, go on dates on the weekend, and have a lot of fun as a couple. Maham and Jen also like Bass, but do not know that he's a high schooler. Saw refrains from telling them, scared of how they will react. But a few weeks into dating him, Maham finds out through Facebook that Bass is a 17-year-old. The duo tries to make Saw understand that she has no future with him. I'd say she could have a future with him, she just shouldn't have a present with him. By the time he is ready for marriage, they say, she will be on the verge of menopause. Saw knew that she will have to face such problems one day, but she still dreads having to talk to Bass about this. Later, when they wait for the bus, she tells him about her concern. Bass discloses that he has also given it thought. and planned out their entire life together. He promises to never look at other women, even when she gets older, and doesn't expect a child because they can simply adopt. All he wants is to be with her his entire life. Touched by her words, Saw starts to cry. They walk to his home and he invites her in to wash her face. Saw agrees, but is met with a surprise when three men start beating Bass as soon as they walk in. Initially, she tries to attack the men, but Bass reveals that it is his father and his bodyguards. Bass is in the school's musical band, which is quite successful. However, his father doesn't allow him to pursue music, believing it to be the cause of his failing grades. He made the bodyguards beat him up because he was told that Bass attended a band practice that day. An embarrassed Bass apologizes and promises to return home after dropping Saw off. But when they reach her apartment, he insists she let him stay for the night because he is scared his father will beat him up again. Bass lays on the floor while Saw takes the bed and the two fall asleep while talking. The next morning, she hands him the apartment keys so he can return home anytime he wants. Maham and Jen see her doing this and assume she and Bass slept together last night. The two warn her that her relationship will not end well and fill Saw's mind with a million doubts. That night at dinner, Saw tells Bass that she is having trouble meeting the deadline of a new project, but he doesn't even understand the basic office terminology. It makes her realize that they might not be as compatible as she thought they were. If Bass doesn't know what a fax machine is, they just weren't meant to be. The next day at work, Saw is busy and worried about the project. Ohm arrives out of nowhere and offers help by looking for freelancers who will do the filing for her. Saw is shocked, to say the least. Ohm explains that he was never in love with Pam and was engaged to her because of their son. But now, he has broken up with her for good and wants Saw back in his life. She doesn't give him any answers, and he takes it as a yes. Saw texts Bass about Ohm's arrival, which upsets him. Instead of returning to the apartment, he goes to his friend's dorm room. He is tense about his father's henchmen looking for him all around, and plans to work as a pub singer to make some money for the time being. The next morning, he goes to Saw's apartment, but sees her driving away with Ohm. Still, he believes that she would never betray him. He goes to meet her at her work, where he finds Ohm waiting for her in the lobby. He tells Maham and Jen that he is planning to take her out on a trip for the upcoming vacation. Bass overhears the conversation and is furious. He storms off to his band practice, where Sa happens to be waiting for him. She tries to reconcile, but Bass rudely asks her to cut the act. At night, Sa returns home and prepares Bass's place to sleep, even though he is not returning. The next day, Ohm invites Maham, Jen, and Saw to a restaurant, but he arrives late with his one-year-old because Pam refused to take care of him. Saw asks him if he still loves Pam, but Ohm denies it. However, he doesn't pay any attention to what she is saying, busy on the phone with Pam. Saw asks him to stop pretending because she feels the same way. They both are in love with someone else, but are trying to do the rational thing. After a long discussion, Ohm realizes that he has never stopped loving Pam since high school. He thanks Saw for opening his eyes to the truth and walks away. 
The next day, he brings Saw and her colleagues to a club to thank her for being such a good friend. It just so happens that Bass is the singer at the same club. The owners organize a program in which the customers will bid for a kiss from Bass. The one with the highest bid will win. Maham goes all out on bidding, but to his surprise, Pam, who is also at the club, keeps raising the bid. At last, Maham wins, but makes Saw get the reward. Although skeptical, she goes to the stage and shares a kiss with Bass. Right after, he storms off and drives away with Pam. When Saw and Ohm talk about her, it is disclosed that Pam actually works for Bass's father. Somewhere else, she takes Bass to his father. The man wants to send him to America for his further studies against his wish. Bass is taken outside, where he meets Saw. She tries to wipe the blood from his face, but Bass turns around and gets inside the car. It drives away, but Saw doesn't give up and follows. Bass makes the driver stop and comes to her, but only to apologize and return back to the car. At last, Saw is left crying in the street. Five years later, she is still working for the same company. Her life has changed a lot, but she still has not forgotten Bass. One night, she falls asleep and dreams of him taking care of her. When she wakes up, Bass is actually on her balcony. He had kept the keys from years ago and entered the apartment at night. Terrifying. Saw touches his face, unable to believe that he is finally back. The movie ends as they embrace each other. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.